region Babylonia and Assyria until the 1st century AD. 74, early writing tablet for recording the allocation of beer. 3100-3000 BC, height, 9.4 cm, width, 6.87 cm, from Iraq, British Museum, London. Early writing tablet for recording the allocation of beer. 3100-3000 BC, height 9.4 cm, width, 6.87 cm, from Iraq, British Museum, London. Cuneiform tablet about administrative account with entries concerning malt and barley growths. 3100-2900 BC, clay, 6.8 x 4.5 x 1.6 cm, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York City. Cuneiform tablet about administrative account with entries concerning malt and barley growths. 3100-2900 BC, clay, 6.8 x 4.5 x 1.6 cm, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York City. Bill of Sale of the Field and House, from Shurupik, C2600 BC, height, 8.5 cm, width, 8.5 cm, depth, 2 cm, louver. Bill of Sale of the Field and House, from Shurupik, C.2600 BC, height, 8.5 cm width, 8.5 cm depth, 2 cm louver. STELE of the Vultures, C2450 BC, limestone, found in 1881 by Eduardo in Gersu, now Teltelo, Iraq, louver. STELE of the Vultures, C2450 BC, limestone, found in 1881 by Eduardo in Gersu, now Teltelo, Iraq, Nuva. Religion. The Sumerians credited their divinities for all matters pertaining to them and exhibited humility in the face of cosmic forces, such as death and divine wrath. 63. 3-4 Sumerian religion seems to have been founded upon two separate cosmogenic myths. The first saw creation as the result of a series of hierogam or sacred marriages, involving the reconciliation of opposites postulated as a coming together of male and female divine beings, the gods. Sumerian religion war plaque showing libations so a seated god and a temple. Your 2500 BC naked priest offering libations to Sumerian temple. Detail, your 2500 BC this pattern continued to influence Aegean or Mesopotamian myths. Thus, in Plato Arcadian Inuma Elish creation was seen as the union of fresh and salt water, between male Abzu, and female Tiamat. The products of the Tinian, Nam and Lam Yu, the Mudoins, were titles given to the gatekeepers of the Abzu Temple of Enki in Eridu, the first Sumerian city. Mirroring the way that muddy islands merge from the confluence of fresh and salty water at the mouth of the Euphrates, where the river deposits its load of silt, a second Hieroscamos supposedly resulted in the creation of Amshar and Kishar, the sky pivot, or axle, and the earth pivot, parents in turn of Anu the sky, and key, the earth. Another important Sumerian hieroscamos was that between Ki, here known as Ninhursig or Lady of the Mountains, and Enki of Eridu, the god of fresh water which brought forth greenery and pasture. At an early stage, following the dawn of recorded history, Nippur, in central Mesopotamia, replaced Eridu in the south as the primary temple city whose priests exercised political hegemony on the other city-states. Nippur retained this status throughout the Sumerian period. Deities. Arcadian cylinder seal from some time around 2300 BC or thereabouts depicting the deities in Anna, Yuchu, Enki, and Isamut Sumerians believed in an anthropomorphic polytheism or the belief in many gods in human form. There was no common set of gods. Each city-state had its own patrons, temples, and priest-kings. Nonetheless, these were not exclusive, 
the gods of one city were often acknowledgeable Surya. Sumerian speakers were among the earliest people to record their beliefs in writing, and were a major inspiration in later Mesopotamian mythology religion and astrology. The Sumerians worshipped him as the full-time god equivalent to heaven. Indeed, the word an in Sumerian means he and his consort he means a MP in the south at the temple in Eridu. MP was the god of beneficence and of wisdom, ruler of the fresh water depths beneath the earth. A healer and friend to humanity who in Sumerian myth was thought to have given humans the arts and sciences, the industries and manners of civilization. The first law book was considered his creation. Enlil was the god of storm, wind, and rain. 75, 108 He was the chief god of the Sumerian pantheon. 75, 108, 76. 115, 121, and the patron god of Nippur. 77, 231, 234. His consort was Ninlil, the goddess of the south wind. 78, 106. Inanna was the goddess of love, sexuality, and war. Winking Sad Smiley. 69, 109. The deification of Venus. The morning, eastern, and evening, western stuff at the temple, shared with them, at Iraq. Deified. Kings may have reenacted the marriage of Inanna and do music with Priestesses. 69, 151, 157, 158. The sun god Yuchu at Lersa in the south and Sippar in the north. The moon god Sin at York. Sumer early Arcadian pantheon these deities formed the main pantheon, and in addition to this there were hundreds over the minor gods. Sumerian gods were often associated with different cities, and their religious importance often waxed and waned with their society's political power. The gods were said to have created human beings from clay for the purpose of serving them. The temples organized the mass labor projects needed for irrigation agriculture. Citizens had a labor duty to the temple though they could avoid it by a payment of silver. Cosmology. Sumerians believed that the universe consisted of a flat disk enclosed by a dome. The Sumerian afterlife involved a descent into a gloomy netherworld to spend eternity in a wretched existence as a Godin. Ghost. Dot. 79. The universe was divided into four quarters to the north were the hill-dwelling sub who were periodically raided for slaves, timber and other raw materials. 80. To the west were the tent-dwelling Marchu, ancient Semitic-speaking peoples living as pastoral nomads tending herds of sheep and goats. To the south was the land of Dilmun, a trading state associated with the land of the dead and place of creation. 81. To the east were the Elamites, a rival people with whom the Sumerians were frequently at war. Their known world extended from the upper sea or Mediterranean coastline, to the lower sea, the Persian Gulf and the land of Melara, probably the Indus Valley, and Magan, Oman, famed for its Kokros. Temple and Temple Organization. Ziggurats, Sumerian temples, each had an individual name and consisted of a forecourt, with a central pond for purification. 82. The temple itself had a central nave with aisles along either side. Flanking the aisles would be rooms for the priests. At one end would stand the podium and a mud brick table for animal and vegetable sacrifices. Granaries and storehouses were usually located near the temples. After a time the Sumerians began to place the temples on top of multi-layered square constructions built as a series of rising terraces, giving rise to the ziggurat style. 83. Funerary Practices It was believed that when people died, they would be confined to a gloomy world of Irish Kigal, whose realm was guarded by gateways with various monsters designed to prevent people entering or leaving. Beaded were buried outside the city walls in graveyards where a small mound covered the corpse, along with offerings to monsters and a small amount of food. 
those who could afford it sought burial at Dilmun. 81. A human sacrifice was found in the death pits at the Yore Royal Cemetery where Queen Quavi was accompanied in death by her servants. Agriculture and hunting. The Sumerians adopted an agricultural lifestyle perhaps as early as C500 4500 BC. The region demonstrated a number of core agricultural techniques, including organized irrigation, large scale intensive cultivation of land, monocropping involving the use of plow agriculture, and the use of an agricultural specialized labor force under bureaucratic control. The necessity to manage temple accounts with vice organization led to the development of writing, c. 3500 BC, dot from the royal tombs of York, made of lapis lazuli and shell, shows peacetime in the early Sumerian era period. The primitive epictograms suggest that sheep, goats, cattle, and pigs were domesticated. They used oxen as their primary beasts of burden and donkeys or liquids as their primary transport animal and woolen clothing as well as rugs were made from the wool or hair of females. By the side of the house was an enclosed garden planted with trees and other plants, wheat and probably other cereals were sown in the fields, and feshadaf was already employed for the purpose of irrigation. Plants were also grown in pots or vases. 58. The Sumerians were one of the first known beer-drinking societies. Cereals were plentiful and were the key ingredient in their early brew. They brewed multiple kinds of beer consisting of wheat, barley, and mixed grain beers. Beer brewing was very important to the Sumerians. It was referenced in the epic of Gilgamesh when Enkidu was introduced to the food and beer of Gilgamesh's people drink the beer, as is the custom of the land. He drank the beer seven jugs, and became expansive and sung with joy. 84. The Sumerians practiced similar irrigation techniques as those used in Egypt. 85. American anthropologist Robert McCormick Adams says that irrigation development was associated with urbanization. 86 and that 89% of the population lived in the cities. They grew barley, chickpeas, lentils, wheat, dates, onions, garlic, lettuce, leeks and mustard. Sumerians caught many fish and hunted fowl and gazelle. 87. Sumerian agriculture depended heavily on irrigation. The irrigation was accomplished by the use of shaduf canals, channels, dikes, weirs and reservoirs. The frequent violent floods of the Tigris, and less so, of the Euphrates, meant that canals required frequent repair and continual removal of silt, and survey markers and boundary stones needed to be continually replaced. The government required individuals to work on the canals in a corvée, although the rich were able to exempt themselves. An account of Bali rations is humanly to adults and children retaining cuneiform script on a clay tablet written in year 4 of King Aruka dynasty 2350 BCAs is known from the Sumerian farmer's almanac, after the flood season and after the spring equinox and the Akaichu or New Year festival, using the canals, farmers would flood their fields and then drain the water. Next they made oxen stomp the ground and kill weeds. They then dragged the fields with pickaxes. After drying, they plowed, harrowed, and raked the ground three times and pulverized it with a mattock, before planting seed. Unfortunately, the high evaporation rate resulted in a gradual increase in the salinity of the fields. By the Yaw 3 period, Farmer Shad switched from wheat to the more salt-tolerant barley as their principal crop. Sumerians harvested during the spring in three-person teams consisting of a reaper, a binder, and a sheaf handler. 88. The farmers would use threshing wagons, driven by oxen, to separate the cereal heads from the stalks and then use threshing sleds to disengage the grain. They then winnowed the grain forward slash chaff mixture. Art. Gold dagger from Sumerian tomb PG 580 Royal Cemetery at Yor. The Sumerians were great artists. 
2 million artifacts show great detail and ornamentation, with fine semi-precious stones supported from other lands, such as lapis lazuli, marble, and diorite, and precious metals like hammered gold, incorporated into the design. Since stone was where it was reserved for sculpture, the most widespread material in Sumer was clay as a result many Sumerian objects are made of clay. Metal such as gold, silver, copper, and bronze, along with shells and gemstones, were used for the finest sculpture.